The earth is a flat piece of paper, man. It's a flat piece of paper. It's a flat plane of existence. Artists can draw it. It's flat. So things are hard to understand, so therefore add a ball. Sunsets are hard to understand, so therefore add the earth is moving and the earth is a spinning ball. Now, that makes no sense to me. Just because you can't understand one thing doesn't mean then therefore you just make something else up that you can't prove. So there is no proof that the earth is a globe. Those pictures aren't proof. Those pictures are an excuse by people that want you to believe in their system because things are hard to understand. Yes, it's hard to understand what's going on with the sun and what's going on with this created order. From a blind eye view, from a bird's eye view, yeah, it's a little hard to understand. The flat plane's like a piece of paper, guys. If it was a globe, how would the artist draw that? The artist draws that using perspective. So we can draw sunsets, and we can see sunsets on our flat plane, and we can see it on our flat piece of paper. The earth is just like a flat piece of paper. It's, it's, that's what it is. And then you guys can't understand that. You need CGI. You need digital pieces of paper for your belief systems so you can feel all high and mighty and all glorious about what you believe. And what you believe is that you can take your hopes and dreams and get on a rocket ship and fix all your hopes and dreams without doing all the work. You got to do the work. And the work lives on a piece of paper. And then you analyze the data, you compute the data, and then you go out and conquer the day. Fix your task. The task at hand is trying to figure out how things work on flat earth. Okay. A little hard, a little confusing. Things are hard to understand. I get it. But that doesn't mean you just add a spinning ball. There's no proof of your spinning ball. There's no proof of motion ever. There just isn't. Without CGI pictures, you got nothing. You got no curvature. People that are new to flat earth and people that are new to this discussion, people that are new to cosmology, got to understand that everybody that's arguing for globe earth literally just goes to the government websites and goes to Mick West's websites and goes to Professor Dave's website and gets the information. And then they think they have the magic words. And then they come back and they say, it's proven it's a ball. You got to remember that there's no proof that it's a ball. Look into it. You won't find any proof that it's a ball. Look into it. You won't find any proof that it's spinning. Nicholson Morley experiments. There's no proof. Neil deGrasse Tyson, he admits there's no proof it's spinning. He goes, Einstein had the theory of relativity, and the theory of relativity is that the, the theory that the earth is moving. Gravity is a theory that the earth is moving, so we added this gravitational pull to mass. Buoyancy and density always perfectly explain why dense things fall and buoyant things rise if it's lighter than the air. That's why everything falls, and everything falls fast. Feathers will catch the air a little bit and fall down a little slower. Things are a little hard to stand. I get it. But that doesn't mean you just add hocus pocus magic and add your godhood and your pantheistic explanations to why you get to tell us this created order. You get to be the creator. You guys are starting to look stupid, man. You got no proof. Your ball, your ball theory is falling apart and it's truck mate and it's game over and the prosecution rests. The earth is flat sunset on the flat earth just like the artist draw it the artist can draw it through and through time and time again and they're drawing it on a flat piece of paper and what they're drawing on a flat piece of paper is your globe your ball falling off the earth your, your i mean sorry your earth spinning so an artist draws a sunset using a flat piece of paper and they're drawing a ball that's spinning and rotating that's what they're drawing huh that's interesting Oh, that's what they're drawing. No, they're drawing a flat piece of paper and they're drawing perspective and they're showing the sun fall off. Your line of perspective, your eyes have focal points. You're looking at it vertically. You're looking at it horizontally, but you're, it comes across vertically um, from your perspective. You see the sun vertically, even though it's horizontal. You see it opposite because of where you're at. And the artist can draw it. Super simple. Um, yet a little complicated because it is backwards. And then because you got those pictures, it's a little hard to understand. And because it gives you glory, fame, and power, or whatever you think it gives you to uh, believe in NASA, you want it so bad. It's silly, guys. And you guys are starting to look silly. Just give up already. The earth is flat. The earth is a flat piece of paper, man. It's a flat piece of paper. It's a flat plane of existence. Artists can draw it. It's flat.